have a look at that. See that sticking out there? I wonder if that's a cross section of a, a tooth, a sharp tooth maybe. Well, yeah, we've got the, the maybe shark tooth. And if you look at this megalodon tooth that Adam gave me, I think that's what we're looking at. You see how it's got that, that bony material inside. That's what's over there. And then it's got the enamel layer, that really thin layer around the top there and the bottom. That'll be the enamel layer. Well, I'm hoping that the majority of the tooth is still inside there and we're not looking at it, you know, coming into the tooth and it's only going to be the tip of the shark tooth. But to my eye, it looks like we just got the, the very tip of the shark tooth over here. But yeah, only one way to find out. Let's, let's prep this. And I'm hopeful that there's some more teeth inside there. It's not impossible. I don't see any evidence on the outside. Yeah, let's, let's give it a prep. It's actually turned out to be a pretty decent shark tooth there. I suspect it's a Hastalis tooth. And this is kind of what it would have looked like. A bit smaller than this one. I don't think there's too much of the root left in there. I did see a few little bits of uh, what could have been cartilage throughout the rock over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some B72 over this tooth over here. And then I'm going to put this concretion into some vinegar and leave it there for a couple of months. Obviously check on it every day or so and see if there are any other teeth in there. It's not impossible. Yeah, that was a good surprise there. At least it wasn't just the tip. You know, it could have been literally just that much inside the rock. <laughs> We've got the, the base and a little bit of the root over there. Well, that maybe shark tooth turned into a really nice shark tooth. I'm so glad I brought it back and tried to prep it. It's one of the few shark teeth that I've identified like that where it's the cross section. I've got a few other prep projects on the go, so keep an eye on the channel. They should be dropping soon. And remember, I've got a rock hounding channel, so go check that out. I've recently published two or three new videos on there after like not doing it for a year. Uh, if you're into rock hounding, you might enjoy me finding some agates in some really cold rivers. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt.